Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly episode. Today I'm going to be telling you my 2021 Formula 1 season predictions. Now before you get your pitchforks out screaming how wrong I am, these are just my personal assumptions of where I think the 2021 standings might end up. This is not a list of where I want the drivers and teams to place, but a list of where I think they will. A list of who I would want to finish first would be for a totally different episode. Most incidents slash crashes involving a driver. Nikita Mazepin, the fresh new face in Formula 1 ready for his first full season in 2021, Already not without controversy, having been in the media for not the most impressive start to a Formula 1 career, he brings with him the sponsorship of a Russian billionaire, his father, worth 1.3 billion. Nikita Mazepin is well known for driving aggressively, being involved in several collisions during his junior motorsport career, possibly due to the fact that he is aware of the money he brings with him, which no doubt can keep him in the sport no matter what. Therefore, based off of this, I'm choosing Mazepin to be the most controversial driver of 2021. Driver Retirement I believe by the end of 2021, Kimi Raikkonen will hang up his gloves and helmet to finish a long and successful career at the age of 41 years old, having achieved one world championship title, 21 race wins, 103 podiums and 18 pole positions. Driver's first win Two former teammates, Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris, it's no secret both of these drivers are world championship material. Sainz having had a fantastic 2020 season, therefore being promoted to the penultimate Formula 1 team Ferrari. And Norris also having a very good season last year, now will be driving Mercedes powered McLaren. With both of these drivers in what's fair to say top tier, or at least currently top tier midfield teams, I believe given the opportunity, both of these fantastic drivers will achieve their first Formula 1 victories. Biggest teammate rivalry. This came close between a few teammates this year, but ultimately, after some research and tough decision making, I have come to the conclusion that Daniel Ricciardo and Lando Norris will have the most fierce and competitive rivalry between two teammates. Ricciardo being a seasoned and extremely talented Formula 1 driver with 7 wins, coming to his new team McLaren will no doubt have Norris's attention, in which Lando Norris most definitely will not want to be bested considering he is now the veteran driver for McLaren. Also to note, during the McLaren 2021 car reveal, there was considerable tension already building between both drivers, however Ricardo looking the more relaxed and comfortable out of the two. Constructors Champion This is a tough one, clearly between only two teams, Mercedes and Red Bull. Mercedes having a far better car for the last six years has no doubt given them an advantage. Although that being said, Max Verstappen was only 9 points behind Bottas at the end of the 2020 season, while Verstappen's teammate Albon finished way down in 7th place. However, this year is different with Albon out and Sergio Perez in, a seasoned veteran and a driver finally worthy of a car of his talent. So given this, I'm going to make a bold prediction that this year, the Stappen team with Perez will be able to climb up to first place in the Constructors Championship, edging out Bottas to fourth place. World Champion Unsurprisingly, in the number one position, 2021's Formula 1 World Champion, whether you like it or not, is going to be Lewis Hamilton, charging in for his eighth world title to truly become the best of all time. I believe not much will stand in the way of Mr Consistency, considering he is one of, if not the best, at mastering both a Saturday qualifying and a Sunday race day. Have a look in the description below for my full 2021 driver's prediction finishing positions. And that is my 2021 Formula 1 season predictions. I thoroughly enjoyed creating this episode. I would love to hear your thoughts slash comments in the comment section below. Be sure to drop a like, it would really help YouTube show my content to more people. And if you wish to see more, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching as always guys, I appreciate the support. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye guys.